So why an actor? Like, why is there, why is there something wrong with being an actor? Well, the first question is, well, who sets your role? And then the second question is, who's pulling your strings? So you've put on this front that is there to make you popular and sexy and desirable and to mask from yourself your own inadequacies. But that's a role. Well, who wrote it? And for what purpose? And so Jung said, for example, that we all acted out a myth, and whether we knew it or not. And, you know, maybe you're acting out a tragedy. Maybe you're acting out Narcissus. You don't know because you've put that, you've put that on yourself in an attempt in some ways to deliver to people what they want, or more accurately, to look as though you're delivering to people what they want. And it's not nothing to do that, right? Because at least you're attempting, in some sense, to adapt to the social world. Someone who's really infantile and dependent, someone who's never left home, part of their problem is that they haven't crafted a persona. So you don't want to denigrate it entirely, but it's no substitute for the real thing. And it turns out that not only is what we want from each other the real thing, but that's also the adventure of your life. And so if you aren't truthful, and that means, unfortunately, especially at the beginning when you start to be truthful, it means deeply coming to terms with your inadequacies in humility. So it's very painful. Without that, you don't have the adventure of your life. You have the role that has been, that you've acquiesced to. And that'll take all the meaning out of your life. 